So disk based options. Um, this option basically comes with the capacitor licensing model by default but if in a case you're planning with traditional traditional licensing model you will need to buy it separately. So basically this functionality uh, basically comes as free in both traditional licensing model traditional and capacitor licensing model. Basically this functionality will let you do utilize your um, space in your master media server. So if in a case you're having some kind of extra space in your master media server which you want to utilize to host some backups in it, you can still do it by creating a basic basic disk storage in it. So NIN backup data protection optimization option which basically includes uh, enterprise disk option, NIN backup intelligent uh, deduplication feature, NIN backup accelerator, accelerator feature and uh, NIN backup open storage that is OST feature. So this basically uh, lets you to use uh, EMC data domain, HP storage, IBM, Dell, Hitachi and Amazon uh, web service uh, and Rackspace cloud storages. So AR, a auto, auto image replication feature which basically comes with um, data production optimization option, even the uh, VTL, the virtual tape library, even this feature comes with uh, DPOO. So this DPOO is something you got to buy if in a case you're going with the traditional model, but in case of capacity model, all these features are covered in the capacity uh, licensing which you buy. So NIT backup starter packs, these are basically a cost effective software package which is designed to meet the uh, backup and recovery needs for the uh, mid-size and uh, SSE uh, environments. So you got a couple of packs like you know standard pack with uh, five clients, one net backup server, one tape drive, okay, which is basically with up to uh, five to up to uh, tier two. So you have something like starter pack with 20 clients, one net backup server, one tape drive, two Windows app, and DB app with tier two. So you got a couple of starter packs which you can utilize if you're planning to go with the kind of uh, uh, you know, mid-size or small-scale um, infrastructure. So licensing for net backup, uh, licensing for the virtual machines under the standard model. So if in a case you're going with the standard licensing model, if in a case you are having virtual machines hosted in infrastructure, you don't need to buy license for each virtual machine which you protect. Instead, you will need to pay for the host which is hosting the uh, virtual machines. So you can be having infrastructure which is having Hyper-V in it, VMware, Hygiene Server and all of that. So if in a case you are having one ESX server which is hosting 10 virtual machines in it, you don't need to buy 10 standard client license for uh, 10 virtual machines. Instead of you do that, you can actually buy one enterprise client which basically helps you to back up all of these 10 virtual machines. Okay. Again, this enterprise client has to be purchased based on the tire information. That is something we have to talk in the um, in the earlier session. So that's about the uh, net backup licensing for virtual machine backups. If in a case you're going with the standard model, but if in a case of um, capacity model, you don't need to think of all of this. Capacity model is very easy to maintain. You just buy the license based on the capacity. You backup. You utilize whatever the feature which net backup provides. So consideration the uh, migration, licensing model migration and conversion. So basically net, net backup or Veritas basically allows customers to convert between the licensing model at any time. Um, but um, you will need to buy license for one essential maintenance here and um, and one one conversion back to the standard licensing model from platform model is free. So basically when you do a conversion from standard model Okay, back to the okay. So basically, uh, when you do a conversion from platform-based model to the standard model, uh, you will be given with uh, two years, uh, two years uh, free. Uh, I'm sorry, one conversion back to the standard model from platform-based model is free, with two years, and there may be additional licensing and maintenance required for the. Uh, Uh, let me pause for a minute. So if in a case you move to the capacity model, you want to come back to the traditional model. So this can be done in the first two years without uh, without you pay extra money, but there will be few additional charge or the maintenance fees you got to pay. But after, fee, after two years, you will need to pay 50% license conversion fee, right? That's about the uh, conversion and uh, it both the net backup appliance licensing 
up in backup semantic appliances are sold per physical appliance bundled with either 12 months or 36 months of maintenance so basically net backup appliance license does not come under there you you know if you want to utilize net backup licensing you got to buy it separately and the net backup software which you run in the semantic appliance is something you got to buy it separately net backup appliance so that's about the net backup licensing uh, if you have any questions you can uh, post on the uh, comments uh, you can um, reach me on um, my uh, Twitter or uh, email address, which I have it in the uh, the comment section. Thank you.